Hello guys, welcome to SI Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another interview question. The question here, okay, the input if you observe, right, the input here, employee table, which, which is contains four columns. One is employee ID, employee name, salary, department ID. So here, whenever you are going ahead and you are going to discuss, right, the question, let me go back to another, let me go back to US slide. slide. So you will understand question in detail. Get me the third highest salary for each department ID. If the third highest salary is not there, then display the second highest salary. If the second highest salary is also not there, then populate the first highest salary as a salary, as a salary. The output columns which they are expecting. So if you observe this input data, okay, here if you see department 10, you are having three, three rows and department 20, you are having two rows and department 30, you are having only one row one row so what is the output which they are expecting if you see right this bit based on the highest salary okay third highest salary if you go with the department 10 what is the third highest salary so first highest salary is 55000 second highest salary is 50 52000 third highest salary is 50000 so they wanted to populate third highest salary now 10 third highest salary okay now straight away you can use either bench rank or row number or or row number you can use it and you can populate this. But here, second second scenario, if you see here, right, 20 and 20, you here we are here, you are having only two rows. But if 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 third highest salary is not there, if third highest salary is not there, just just populate the second highest salary. In that case, what is the second highest salary? 58,000 is the second highest salary for 20,000, 20, 20, sorry, 20 department. Okay, 50. 8,000. Okay, now third third row, nothing but a department 30. What is the only one is the 65,000. Now you wanted to see this kind of output in the, you, you have to see this kind of output. This is the expectation from the, expectation from the interviewer, interviewer. This is not for the ETL testing interview question. Okay, this may come in interview, but this is the data engineering interview question. First, let's go ahead and populate the this input data input data in the oracle so let me go to oracle here you can see here you can see okay here you can see already i have created a table i have created a table this script i'm going to provide in the in the description just go ahead and see that now let's go ahead and do the regular stuff if you wanted to populate if you wanted to populate second highest salary or third highest salary how you are going to do that just you are going to and you are going to use what Select, select employee ID. Okay, employee ID and employee name. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll use what? Regular, like, you know, whatever we have it, right? Whatever we have it, nothing but I will use the dense rank. Okay, dense rank and over, over each department ID, right? You wanted to do perform, you wanted to perform each department ID. So what you are going to do, you are going to and you are going to do partition by department ID. Order by order by salary DS. You wanted to get highest, right? Highest salary. So you can do like this DSC. Then you can perform this as a as salary rank. As salary rank. Okay. From employee, employee data. Okay. Here I have created a new schema for this particular particular questions. DE interview questions. Now you can see here. You got this. Now, if you wanted to get third highest salary, general in general way, you are going to create a one inline view on top of it. What you are going to do? You are going to create one inline view. Select star from, select star from, and here already you have created a, a just a virtual view. Okay, inline view. A where sal rank equals to sal rank equals to one sal ranking equals to third. Okay, but here try to try to execute. If you execute here, right, you are getting only one row, one row. Now, now what I wanted, I wanted irrespective of, suppose if the salary is third is there, right? Even though department 10, 20 and 30, if 20 is not having third highest salary, what I wanted to populate, if third, 20 is not there, third highest salary, okay, then ask, then go ahead and populate, go ahead and populate, okay, go ahead and populate, what? Populate the second highest salary. Second highest salary. Okay. Same same case. If 30 is not having second highest salary also. Second highest salary and third highest salary. Second and third also. 
third highest salary. What we are going to do? We have to populate. We have to populate. We have to go ahead and populate the populate the what? Populate the first highest salary. First highest salary. First highest salary. This is the requirement, right? This is the requirement. How you can do that? How you can do that? How you can do that? Try to understand. Try to understand. Straight away it is not going to happen. First, let's let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do one thing. Okay. So now, now let's go ahead and do one thing. Now, whatever A is there, right? Just you can take it up here. Okay, write it up here. Write it up here. Very, very important thing. Case, case when, case when, okay, case when, okay, what do you want? Case when, 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 sal rank equals two, sal rank equals two, sal rank equals two, one. Then what we can say? What we can say? Then populate as a salary. Populate as a salary. Okay, end, end, yes, as, what do you want, what do you want to mention that, highest salary, highest salary. Now, case, when, when sal rank equals to, sal rank equals to 2, then salary, end, as, as, what, second highest salary, second, highest, second, highest, okay, second highest. Now, case, when, Sal ranking plus two, sal rank equals two, three, three. Okay. Then salary in as third highest. Okay. Third highest. So let's go ahead and execute this. Third highest. Third highest. Okay. Just you are going ahead and you are using a simple case statement. What you are trying to say, boss, if it is a first salary, go ahead and populate as first salary. If first salary is not there, okay, if first salary is there. Okay, then go ahead and populate it. If first salary is not there, okay, sorry, if third highest salary, sorry, if first highest salary is there, just go ahead and populate it. If second highest salary is there, go ahead and populate it. Third highest salary is there, go ahead and populate it. Let me go ahead and execute and after that I will give you more details. So if you see, right, okay, let me go ahead and even populate the department, right? We want based on department ID, right? We want based on department ID. Let, go, let me go ahead and populate it. Now, if you see, right, first highest salary for department 20, department 10, okay, department 10, what is the first highest salary? 55,000, 55,000, okay, okay, first highest salary, what is the, what is the salary for department 10, what is the highest salary, department 10, first highest salary, 55,000, you got the 55,000, second highest salary, 52,000, third highest salary, 50,000, 50,000, now, at the same time here, you are having second highest for highest salary. Here you are what you are populating? You are going ahead and you are populating what? 60,000 is the highest salary. Second highest salary is 58,000. And third highest salary, you are having only, only one part. That is nothing but a highest salary you are populating. Highest salary you are populating. You are populating. Now, now what do you want? What do you want? So whenever you wanted to populate it, right? Whenever you wanted to populate it, just go ahead and get the highest value from each. Highest value from each. Okay, how you can get that? Is null values. You can go ahead and you can do that. Get the highest value. Okay, whatever the highest value which you are having, just go ahead and get for highest salary for that particular department. Ready. What we can do? Just you can go ahead and you can use group by here. Group by department ID. Okay, group by department ID. Okay, group by department ID. And then here, whenever you are using group by, right, make sure you are going to use the max of value, max of that particular ID. With that particular ID, what is the maximum value? Okay, what is the maximum value? Now you can go ahead and you can do this. Okay, you can go ahead and you can do this. Max of this particular salary for that. Let me execute it. Let me execute it. Now you can see, now you can see what is the, what is the value which you are getting? What is the value which you are getting? You are getting what? You are going ahead and you are getting. Okay. You are going ahead and you are getting what? You are getting for 10. Okay. 10. You are going at a first highest salary 50, 55,000. Second highest salary you are getting 50,000. Third highest salary you are getting 50,000. This is what you are expecting, right? This is what you are expecting. At the same time here also, here also you are getting 60,000, 58,000. And third highest salary you are having null value. And here 30,000, you are having highest value is nothing but 65,000. And second and third, you are having null values consecutively. Consecutively. 
Now, now you have a highest salary you have, second highest, third highest is there. Now, what do you want? You want third highest salary. If third highest salary is not there, then go ahead and populate second highest salary. If second highest salary is not there, go ahead and populate the first highest salary. How can we do that? Can we write one more, one more inline view on top of it here? Very simple. Okay, very simple. Select department ID. Okay, you are going ahead and you are deriving. From here, you are getting the department ID. Okay, now what is the next thing? Here also we can apply case. Case when, when highest salary, okay, when third highest salary, okay, let me copy paste. When third highest is not null, is not null, then, then populate what? Third highest. When third highest salary is not the, Null, then go ahead and populate third highest. Okay, now again one more condition. If second highest is not there, second highest is there, is not null, not null, then populate second highest. Okay, second highest. Now else, else populate the populate the highest salary, uh, highest salary and and as salary, salary. Okay, from okay, from Okay, what you are doing, just you can define one more, one more inline view. Okay, just you can write it up here B, here B. Okay, now what you are doing, this is the way you have to achieve this particular thing. Now you can see here, you can see here, whatever you are expecting, right? 50,000, 58,000, 65,000. Let's go to PPT, whatever you are expecting, 50,000, 58,000, 65,000. Same thing we are expecting here, same thing we are populating. So, this is the way you have to answer this. Let me repeat it. Let me summarize it. First, whatever regular way you can define the rank. Okay. Once you define the rank, get that rank and associate, get that rank and whatever the rank which you are having, right? Make it case statement and you can convert rows into rows into columns. Okay. You are converting rows into columns. First highest salary you are populating one column. Second highest salary you are populating one column. Third highest salary. You are populating one column. Once you have populated, you if you wanted to go ahead and get the maximum value out of it, just go ahead and get the maximum. So while you are getting the maximum, you are able to remove the null values and other things. After that, what you are going ahead and you are getting, just you are applying case statement. If third highest salary is there, populate third highest. If third highest is not there, then populate the second highest. If the third second highest is not there, default, you can go ahead and you can get the first highest salary. This is the way you have to do that. This is the way you have to do that. Thank you. And please do subscribe to the channel so that we will do more, more interesting questions going further. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.